This experiment, the robot tug-of-war, is a great way to demonstrate Newton's third law. It's based on a common physics problem that you can find in Hewitt's textbook. If a rope is pulled from both sides by 100 newtons, what should the tension in the scale read on that rope? In his teaching guide, Hewitt says you could discuss with the students what would happen if you tried to do a tug of war, but one side was blindfolded and the other end of the rope was actually tied to a tree or a stairwell. I took this to heart and actually did a tug of war with my students, where I would blindfold one side and unbeknownst to the blindfolded students, I would tie the other end of the rope to the stairwell. It made for a dramatic effect and the students would learn that they couldn't tell the difference between pulling on a doorknob or a rope tied to the stairwell and pulling against another group of students. So indeed, the tension in the rope would be 100 newtons. What's great about this problem, when you ask it, is there's always a variety of answers that students come up with. They're not sure what should the tension in the rope be. Should it be equal to 100 newtons? Should it be twice the tension you're pulling with? Should it be half this tension? As you can see from these student answers, there's a wide range of student answers. I was always a little worried, however, what were the students really getting out of my interactive demonstration? Were they really remembering all that much? Only a few of them were having a hands-on experience. They all remembered it, but did they really learn the physics from it? I realized I could make this experiment quantitative using the Lego Mindstorm kits that my students had been working with on a daily basis. They had been programming them with LabVIEW, and if we attached vernier force probes to the Lego NXT robots, they could actually measure the tension in the rope. So they would tie the rope to a ring stand and measure the tension. They wrote programs in LabVIEW. They taught themselves how to take a force sensor reading using LabVIEW, and it took them a while to figure out that they would also need a loop in order to continuously take force readings and display it on the NXT. After they did that, they found out the tension <clears throat> in the string when they tied the string to a ring stand, and then they also found the tension when they had two robots pulling against each other doing a tug of war. They came up with the same conclusions as they did before. So the students found the tension was the same whether the robot was tied to a ring stand or two robots pulling against each other. What was great about this experiment, it was a quantitative version of what I did before and the students actually had to figure out some programming without my teaching them anything. They had to work together and collaborate in order to make this experiment a success.